Ground control to Major Tom. We don't have liftoff, but... <laughs> After 50 years, eventually, we are going mm. to go back to the moon. Joining us this morning to tell us about NASA's first mission back to the moon and when it actually might happen, as we found out from Melanie live this morning, it's on pause. We welcome Ontario Science Centre researcher and programmer Walter Stoddard. Good morning. How are you, Walter? Good morning, Walter. Good morning, Dina, Devo. It's great to be here. I'm doing great, thank you. It's uh, still very exciting. Yeah, we were ready yeah. to talk about it, show it to everybody once again. However, it's been on, uh, put on hold until Friday is what we're hearing. So what, uh, you know, what did you learn about this and what is the issue really to make it kind of be grounded for now? Right. Well, this happens from time to time. I don't know if you've ever played tag, right? The big countdown, 10, yeah. 9, 8, <laughs> and then someone trips and loses a shoe. It's like, timeout, timeout, timeout. <laughs> so here we are with a timeout. NASA does that. They have built-in timeouts in their countdown. But at this point, what happened was they discovered that an engine wasn't cooling the way it should. They did a bleed test, and then they realized, no, it's going to take... Two, it's going to take hours. We're not going to be able to figure this out. And the rumor has it they're talking about a, a, a crack in a tank. Uh, I, I, it's really something that they just can't fix fast enough mm -hmm. to launch today. And so they, they, they left it up. They're, they're doing further tests. The earliest that they can launch, they were talking September uh, 4th or 5th. That's the earliest window that's available to them, as, uh, as far as I know. But they'll, they'll keep us posted. So okay. first, Makes sense. first and, things first is to yeah. make sure that it can fly. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, engine. that is the important part, Walter. <laughs> yeah. And Artemis going to space right now in this program, why is it so historic and, and important? So... Artemis is, it's step one in, in three steps for Artemis, but you have to look past it as well, right? If, if we're going to be putting people on Mars, if, if that's part of what we want to do to explore our solar system, well, we're better than on the moon. And so to put a, a, a stable base there, to put a space station in orbit around the moon, that's part of the Artemis plan. But we have to take a step back from that and, and land people on the moon, take another step back. And we're, 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 we're talking about a Canadian astronaut being part of that crew and then take that step back to today, which is postponed, but it's this unmanned flight. It still has their passengers, if you will. We can <laughs> talk about that, but it, it's an unmanned flight in order to to, to test the, the new technology. We're going to have it orbit the planet, for, or orbit the, the moon, further away from planet Earth than uh, any human being has ever gone. And so all of that requires data testing. We, we want to get measurements of radiation and stuff like that. So that's the importance of this flight as part of the, the stepping stones towards a deeper space exploration, uh, a permanent presence on the moon. Really exciting stuff. Okay, so it is a three-step path, right? How, how does right. that all, and there are, is it three mannequins on board mm -hmm. or supposed to be? Yeah, so so it's supposed to be. So Artemis 1, this first flight, no human beings, but they do have three mannequins. And one, I believe, was was named by the public. And if I'm not mistaken, it's it's Moonikin. <laughs> Moonikin. Yeah. Moonikin Skywalker? Moonikin I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's great. It's great. And campus <laughs> after the name of a, of a, a famous uh, uh, engineer who, who worked on the, the Apollo missions. Uh, and the purpose of the mannequins is to measure the acceleration, measure all the shaking, the vibrations of the flight. Uh, one's dressed up in a full space suit, so it's going to test that suit. And, uh, two others are, are testing a vest. One has the vest, one doesn't. And so it's a test to see how that protects against the radiation. There's there's a, a belt of radiation in between us and the moon, the, the, the Van Allen belt that surrounds the Earth. And it's great because it protects the Earth from uh, streaming atomic particles, streaming particles from space, but we have to pass through it. And so let's we're going to fly our, our, our ship through there, we're, get our readings, and then also the being so far out, we're outside of the magnetic bubble of the Earth, or, or at least closer to its edge than ever before. And so we need to know what that means. And so that's what this flight is all about. It's going to do a, a loop around the moon and and come back with, with the mannequins on board, get those tests. There's, simultaneously, they're gonna launch a bunch of CubeSats, and so there's a number of satellites taking other data. It's really a, a, a significant mission for gaining a lot of the, the science and the, the, the measurements of what's happening in that region of space. Mm. Walter, there's so much that we can continue to talk to you. Unfortunately, yeah. we are out of time, but Artemis II, of course, is gonna try and fly 
uh, astronauts with that around the moon at that point so in a couple great. of years. And then after that, hopefully land on it. So it is that development out to 2025 where we're going to hopefully see the first female astronaut on the moon as well. So, yeah. so much going on. Exactly we will check right. in with you again uh, once, hopefully, when this launch is uh, coming up in the next uh, few days or weeks, whenever they decide to do it. So, Walter, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Man. Hey, Walter. My yep. pleasure. Oh, yes. you go. Thanks for intertanking us, even though the shuttle was put on pause today. It was the intertank. Because of the correct. intertank. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Walter. Walter, Walter yeah, can't space, space joke. Space joke. Uh, space Walter, joke. you're great.